Yeah, can you imagine if like a chair just flipped over over there right now? It's a dark and stormy night. Or someone from Boston might say, it's a dark and... Help me here. Stormy. Not stormy. <laughs> stormy. And stormy. 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 Night. It's a dark and stormy night. Wicked smart. Hi. Oh, I mean, hello, zombies. Yes, I am back, blonder and wiser. And this time we are in the Hawthorne Hotel in Salem, Massachusetts. The most haunted city in all of America. Arguably, but probably because some shit has gone down here things I was just googling on my phone And I don't know by heart yet. I'm here by myself tonight kind of I don't have Spencer We saw a voodoo doll in a shop in Salem tonight And I almost bought it to do torture on him for not being there here there here here right here But we do have Peter behind the camera and we brought back Mark, Peter's brother, who's on the other side of behind the camera right now, because he found us a ghost at Chateau Marmont. And if you haven't seen that video, you should go watch it, because if you're watching this one, it's because you're looking for ghosts, and we found one at Chateau Marmont. If, if ever, a time. We talked to one on an EMF reader, we caught footage of one standing in front of the camera and ruining the shot, and we heard one. I think it's safe to say all three of those things happened in one video. This video, we're trying to taste and feel them. This video, we're tasting them and we're feeling them because those are the only senses we haven't gotten with the series yet. I want to feel a ghost. Ooh, a sexy ghost. How do we taste a ghost? Speaking of. Would you rather taste a poop-flavored ghost or a... Ghost-flavored poop? I'm always going to pick not eating poop. Not spons, but very tired because I slept an hour last night. Have you seen a theme yet? This is how October goes for me. So Salem, first of all, is super freaking cute. I don't feel creeped out at all being here. I feel like it is wholesome and sweet and adorable and it looks like a picture storybook kind of place. It's like a witchy Disneyland. It's so cute it doesn't seem real. It seems like all stages and whatever. But there's something kind of eerie about the fact that every shop in the vicinity of like the heart of Salem is witch themed. It leans very heavy into witchcraft. It's very like happy witch friendly. But this is the site of the worst things that have ever happened to witches. What did you say? It's like making a former slaughterhouse into like a cow amusement park. Yeah, precisely. It feels like the wrong place to put it, of all places. Or are they taking the power back and being like, we know that these atrocious things happen to witches here, therefore this is now witch land and we're gonna make it a happy place for witches. I don't know, I don't know how to feel about it, but it's kind of weird. Very cute though. Should I tell you about the history of this place? The history of the hotel. The Hawthorne Hotel was built in 1924 and opened in 1925. It was built as a place to be like a cool, hip, modern hotel for businessmen. And then it turned into like a motor hotel at one point because it, it held a lot of cars in the parking lot or some shit. I guess that was the standard back then. Just have to have a lot of cars in the parking lot. As far as hauntings go, it is very, very haunted. Dun, dun, dun. But no one's died here that I know of. This place is supposedly, according to some websites, one of the most haunted hotels in all of America. When we checked in, the concierge said that she's seen a lot of things here. She said that people see and hear a lot of things in the library downstairs in particular, which I want to go investigate. I read online that the sixth floor is particularly haunted and people see an actual full body female apparition in front of room 612. The reason being, in room 612, the real ghost stories seem to surround the spirit of Bridget Bishop. She was the first woman to be executed for being a suspected witch in Salem. And she used to own an apple orchard that existed where this property stands now. So the concierge mentioned to us, pay attention if you smell apples. Spooky, tasty. That's how we taste ghosts. Apples, and they're gonna touch us. An excess of 1 million people have stayed here. It's a lot of people. Yeah. And most of them are dead. Almost certainly. Most of all people are dead. True. Also almost certainly. No, way more people have died than have lived. Wait. No, that's not true. <laughs> Wait, rewind. Nope. Way more people have died than are alive today. Yes. yes. Nailed it. So there's a lot of stories of things being undone in this hotel. Employees working on things and then they walk back into the room and everything is a mess. Messy ghosts. The concierge said that the fourth 
floor specifically lately has been quite haunted. Workers being up there when they have the entire floor closed off for some kind of renovation or some kind of work and they're hearing full-blown conversations and there's no one on the floor. And one room in particular is supposed to be extremely haunted. The spiritual entities that are believed to haunt room 325 are suspected to be those of past guests. There have been reports of the lights turning on and off with no explanation. The same holds true for the water faucets within the room. While lying on the bed, guests have reported experiencing an extreme level of cold. Many have reported a feeling as if they've been touched while trying to sleep. Hell yeah, we're getting touched by ghosts tonight. Because 325 is the most haunted room Guess what room we're in? I've already had an experience here that I cannot explain, although there's gotta be an explanation because I'm a skeptic. I know nobody asked, but I'm gonna tell you again. A thing happened right away, and of course I didn't catch it on camera because it happened right away. As you can see, I'm still missing an eyebrow. I just got off of a flight that was overnight, but I'm not hallucinating. I'm not seeing things. <sighs> So I'm in here, Peta and Mark are getting things set up, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna talk to <laughs> And I'm like, I'm gonna turn on the light in here, which is over there. No windows were open, there's no vents going. I'm standing right here, I'm walking towards the light switch, and this door straight up goes, straight up, straight up, straight up. It just, it just, it, I promise you. Unless someone was walking the hallways and was like, haunted room, ha <laughs> But it, it, it did, it did that. Can't the ghost read? I'm upset. I'm not even cute yet and things are happening. These ghosts are rude. They don't care about the aesthetic I'm trying to set up for the people. All right, let's start shooting. This door has already swung open on its own without anyone asking for it to. Oh, there you go, there's a meme. Nobody. The door. So I'm just, you know what, I'm gonna go close it. <laughs> the one through that bathroom seems to close on its own, but it's open right now. And this is a strange room. The concierge also told us that this is the only room of its kind in this entire hotel. And at first I didn't really understand why. Cause when I walked in, it seemed like a pretty normal hotel room to me, except that the shower is all by itself in one room and the bathroom, the sink and the toilet are in another room. So that's not super strange, I guess. But then <laughs> I quickly realized there's a whole other room inside this room. So there's two rooms that make up 325 connected by a bathroom. Do you smell apples? See, the apples thing, if I smell apples, I'm not gonna buy it. Cause they could like be pumping apples through the system. Maybe that's why they're like, don't mess with the heater versus the AC. Cause they've got a very intricate system in this room of apple scents. Honestly, that makes a lot of sense. Right? Oh, but also this place is definitely old. I mean, I know that you know it's old. It's not the oldest place we've even stayed in, but the electricity is so old in this building. It makes my camera do this if uh, the shutter's too high. And that's not fun for anybody to watch. So if I seem a little motion blurred, it's because the only shutter we can have it at is pretty slow to get rid of that strobing effect, sorry. We have the EMF reader to get into. We got the thermometer. We got Red Bull, not Spons. Let's go. I know, I know. Where in the world is Mikey San Diego? Don't even. So we don't know exactly what it is, but you can hear it every time you step on it. That's where they had the bodies. But there's no access. So if we hear that noise later, we know. Oh my God, we know there's something in the floor. Should we go up to the fourth floor and then the sixth floor to try to find ghosts? All right, they're really leaning into it. We get it, you're haunted. Hello. <laughs> hello? I said hello and it, it said hello back. Confirmed, haunted. And we're done. Can you imagine this isn't a decoration, this is an actual ghost and nobody else sees this but us right now? Imagine it moves. I just want to know why. It's got creepy eyes. You're one to talk. Oh my god, it's pouring. Maybe we won't go to the cemetery. That must have just fallen last night. Yo, that nor'easter was no joke. Two trees taken down. It's 
now we're going up to the sixth floor to see if we can see a full ghost apparition in front of room 612. We're down the hall from 612, which is where people see a whole ass woman. There's definitely a ghost right here in this electrical closet. Ghosts are real, confirmed. I'm a believer. Thanks for watching. Bye. That's pretty weird. That's really weird. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Check it on the door. Yeah. Debunked. I feel nauseous again. Ooh, do you taste a ghost? I really want to ask the concierge, is that room do occupied? It, do it and have this recording. 622, we wanted to know if we were going to be able to get a second room, would that room be available? Yeah, so it looks like there's someone in there right now. That's all right. Thank you. So I think we figured out what's going on in 622. At first, it seemed like the door was rattling in a very spooky, ghost-like way. The TV's on in there now, though. Do you really think someone's in that room with the window open right now? I don't think there's anyone in the room. So someone does have that room, left their window open, and the wind is shutting the door. But it's unfortunate because it's really cold out and now it's pouring and they probably went out before it started pouring. So they might come back to a very wet hotel room. And Mark was taking the temperatures of all the doors in that hallway and 622 is the only one that is colder by a few degrees, which would make sense if they have their window open and very cold air is blowing in. So I think that's debunked. Or it's a ghost that really wants to let people play devil's advocate. It's flashing. We're not near anything. Weird. If, if there's a spirit here, can you do something in the room to let us know that you're here? Oh, oh. Flickering lights. Do you see that? On the I camera? Just, I just asked it to do something. Do you see that on the camera though? It's really hard to say. That light is flickering. It's clearly flickering. And it and wasn't it just before, started. right? Yeah. Damn, you can't tell? No, it's really hard to tell. It is definitely lit up right here. I thought it might be that outlet, but it's not. I absolutely just saw a big black bug twice. I refuse to believe that bugs equal ghosts, but I saw a bug. We're gonna find the bug. There it is. No, there is a bug. Okay, I see the bug. <laughs> Confirmed, not Debunked. haunted. Actual bug this time. That just moved. I don't feel anything coming from this vent. No. Nothing. You find a vent in there? I'm trying to see. It's kind of dark. I'm using my phone. There's <laughs> like, not boilers, but pipes back there. So somebody might have to go in there to like access pipes and stuff. Likely explanation or ghosts. Could be. 
when it happened live, I thought it was weird, but yeah. So look at when it happens. But look at what it looks like live, though. Hmm. It's weird, right? Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't seem like it's you that cuts it no, off. It seems like it blinks right after you walk past it. That's why, and then, he, well, the thing is, then he walks past again. He walks past the light, and I intentionally, like, wanted to stay on it, and nothing happens. Nothing happens. Hmm. So it's not just... Yeah, it, like... In the moment, it, it did it. It was weird. Yeah, it's a weird blink. Hey, look at that. Weird. Weird, right? Yeah. There are reports of lights flickering. But is that just because it's old? old? I don't know. Or is it a ghost? Okay, I'm setting a five minute timer as soon as you guys shut the door. And, oh, squeaky door. Okay, five minutes starting right now. I don't feel like anything too scary is going on. I closed the screen on the camcorder to make it darker. Closed all of the blinds. I covered the battery, turned on the EMF, and turned my phone on airplane mode. Let's see what my heart rate is. 72 beats per minute. I am zen as Oh, it just jumped up to 88. Okay, ignore, ignore me. <laughs> the heck, man? Now I'm gonna try really hard to concentrate. Hello, ghosts. And you can't even make friends with ghosts. All done. I can do that in my sleep. And I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Nothing. Not a... Not a thing. So, we walked around all of the areas of the hotel that we could get to with the EMF reader as well as this room. We didn't show me walking around this room with the EMF reader because we didn't pick up anything. You saw what we picked up in the basement with the EMF reader, but not a ton. I don't think we should do tarot cards here because no one died here that we know of. So I think we're just gonna go to sleep and let you know if we hear anything in the night. I'm going to be sleeping in this room by myself and they're going to be sleeping in that room with each other. We will talk to you in the morning unless something crazy happens in the middle of the night. Good night. I drank your Red Bull, what if I can't sleep now? Hello, some base. We are in 360 degrees. And if you're super wild, you can put your phone in a VR cardboard headset. They're super affordable and like I said, you can just use your phone with them to transform it from a singular magical window. The mic. Right? The mic. It's gotta be the mic. That's intense. Leave that and move the mic. What the hell? That's really going. It's gotta, there's gotta be a reason for that, right? Is it that mic? No. Wouldn't be that mic. Is there a mic? <laughs> I'm about to get on the table. No. Imagine I lift this up and there's just a f***ing demon looking at me. <laughs> yeah, that's really going though. Try moving that mic. There's no better mic. Wow! are. It's not this mic. Oh. Yes, it is. What? No. Leave? So they just die. No, oh, it's not this. That was just going crazy. I've never seen it do that. I just assumed it was one of the mics. Yeah. But we just eliminated both mics. Put that back. Wait, oh, it's moving. <laughs> when it's near something like that, it acts very consistently. That ain't acting consistent. Are you using Is there anything cord? near with us? Hi, hi guys, hi. 
Here. Hi, I'm back to tell you that we didn't go to sleep. We decided to come down here and start getting footage for the 360 video that will eventually be up on my channel after the Halloween series is over. And even though it's been kind of a quiet night, <laughs> we were getting a ton of activity on this thing a minute ago. Five. It was going crazy. I've never seen it do that much except when it was on my mic pack. We don't have we any don't mic have packs mic on us at all. Them. Yeah, we don't even have our mics on. Weird. But now it's not doing anything. Slide it around the table. No, that's the spot. Well, it was it was reading over here. Is there something here with us? Please come back. What? The curtain is moving pretty good now. There's no windows back there, by the way. <laughs> it's just tables. Tables. There's tables back here. Why am I afraid to open this right now? Oh, it's moving again. Oh, Mark, it's moving. Guys, it's going to red again. Is there something here with us? Oh. Okay, now watch. If I take this away... doesn't set it off either. Shoot. <gasps> What's that mean? Is it the mic? No. I moved the mic no. and it stopped. Yeah, but, but the mic But the mic has off. been sitting there the whole time. Okay. It's you. It's me? It's on you. Stop. Don't say that. <laughs> That's it's been on you the whole time. That's what everybody is saying, that we're taking stuff home with us. You want to come home with me? <gasps> no. I... You won't like Ripley. You won't like Ripley. It's a full house. You should stay here. I mean, you it's just her and Ripley, you and sometimes Katie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a lot of space here. It's it's real cute over here. It's not so cute in LA. Ripley's you possessive. Deal with, like... <laughs> I said Ripley's possessive. It's going so crazy when it goes crazy, and then nothing. And then nothing. This isn't sending out like waves of frequency, we don't is know. it? And that microphone does not have like transmitters or receivers on it right now. It's not <gasps> using radio signals. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. My... We haven't seen it go to red like that it's, in yeah, any it's other going, place. No, it's going full up. That's... We've never seen it go to red when it's not actually sitting on something like a mic pack. And even then it takes a mic pack to get it going that much. The guy did tell us to come down here. Yeah, he did. Because he's had some stories. Poor guy. Poor guy. We came out of an elevator to go shoot some 360 on the sixth floor, and Peter scared the shit out of this poor man that works here. He jumped, and I asked him if he's seen anything, and he told us a story about how he was picking up all these little things that he couldn't vacuum up, like straws and little like toothpick type things in one of the event halls. And there was these bright red straws that he kept picking up from the middle of the aisle. And when he'd come back, there would be more, but he knew that he just picked up. Nessie goes, the only ones on the floor. And when I asked him if he's seen anything, his response was, well, not a lot recently. <laughs> they tend to get more loud after Halloween, but there's something here right now that keeps getting real loud on the EMF meter. And I'm so glad you guys caught this. Of course, as soon as we put away all the big cameras, it's like, all right, watch this shit. Maybe they just don't like big gear. Like, it's saying, hell yeah. Just in case. Will you talk to us? Is it your phone? No, my phone's on airplane mode. We don't have electronics with us. It's being so inconsistent too. We, it, you can even say that we were by all of the electronics before, but we don't have electronics with us except for the GoPro and the, and the little mic, much, which are away from it. Much like Flagstaff, this thing hasn't gone off At pretty all. much anywhere tonight. Yeah. We got a little bit of a little bit of a flicker right here, and then the only other thing we got was right here, but it was kind of next to that telephone, and the telephone was reading the same thing, so I, I feel like it was probably just that interference. There's nothing near this, and everything we've put near it doesn't make it react. Doing that very inconsistently. We can try to establish. Can you show us what a yes looks like? 
That's pretty full. It's just everything, okay. Like. Lots of yellow red, yellow red. Can you show us what a no looks like? It's literally less now. What so it's going in more. the... Uh, okay, calm down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you angry? <laughs> hey, hey, no, stop. No, no, that's a no. <clears throat> that's oh. a no. It's not angry. I told it to stop and it stopped. Yeah, that's not angry. It wasn't angry. Okay, now that we've got some silence in the room, relax. Everyone's going to get a chance to talk. No, hold on, hold on. Oh, man, you actually might like Ripley. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Bridget Bishop? Are you a spirit? That's weird. Yeah. yeah. It's never done that. Yeah, that was weird. Are you a daemon? That's comforting. Do you want to be here? No, it wants to go home with you, remember? True. Were you accused of being a witch? Yo, can you imagine if like a chair just flipped over over there right now? <laughs> Where's your heart? It just started flicking again. Was that you? That was amazing. That was amazing. I mean, I've seen like weird things out of the corner of my eye and I look and then there's nothing. Where? In the hotel. Tavern mostly. Really? So yeah. We haven't, we haven't even gone there. Yeah, we didn't even go in there. Well, I'm about the vacuum in there, so I'm going in there, get in there now. Okay. You're awesome, man. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. We're going to go upstairs to the front desk and we'll be like, man, Adam's so funny. And they're going to be like, <laughs> there is no Adam. Who's Adam? <laughs> Does it pick up phones and stuff like that? If you hold we, it next to it. Yeah, it but we have our phones right on, on airplane mode. Yeah. Yeah, like, not for nothing, you've had the phone there the whole time and it didn't did nothing and all of a sudden it did. Exactly. Yeah. And it was doing it before he had the phone out, which yeah. is why he brought the phone out to record it. Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> it agrees. <laughs> I don't get it. Thanks a lot, Adam. Thanks, Adam. I really You're appreciate it. But definitely check out that far table in the corner. Far table in the corner. Far table in the corner. Good Got to know. It. What's the the panel on the floor on the third floor? Oh yeah. There's like a metal Under like the rug. You know I don't know. <laughs> Doing it so long, I actually walk around it without yeah. even realizing. Yeah. Huh. But yeah, I think it's some kind of grate or something. Mm -hmm. I, it's gotta be a grate. If you step on it, it rattles a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it was a no, panel, there would be a cutout in the rug. Right. Like you could open it. Panel's getting but the rug is yeah, completely open. It's just covered. I have no clue what it is. It's so always been this for a month. Whoa, my phone just started recording on its own. On its no, own. it didn't. No, it didn't. No, look, it's at eight seconds. I didn't touch it. Have you been recording your phone? My phone? I just, I literally just started recording it because I looked down and my <laughs> yeah, phone and started recording. Jumping too. <laughs> Did you do that? It just worked. Dude, what? Like, look at my phone. Do it's recording. Oh, yeah, it's 25 you seconds. Messing. Do you want us to see something on Peter's phone? Or like yeah, messing with I think you're the ghost They're not whisperer. evil enough, but yeah. they definitely like to mess with you. I think they like to mess with you, they do. and you're bringing them to they us. absolutely do. Nothing happened until we ran into Neo. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> it. Nothing all night. <laughs> Nothing all night. Yeah. They're like, oh, you guys are friends? All right, let's see. Yeah, oh, no, no, they, they like messing with me. They... Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to okay. stop. You should, know. should we? Yeah, I guess we should. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> Yeah. All of a sudden, so much is happening, which yeah. is great. So we're going to go upstairs and take you there and see if we can find anything else. Bye. I would love to finish our conversation here, Yeah. but it's not really 
It doesn't want to talk to us. It just wants to keep scaring us. It just wants to us. record. It just wants to record things on your phone. You know what you should do? We should Play that blast back. the audio on this. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And see if we can hear anything. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Let's go. Whoa. All the lights are flickering in this place. Granted, there is a storm, but holy cow. Oh my god, it smells so good in here. Okay, he said this is a spooky table. Let's do it. Look at it out right now. Look at the leaves oh flying. God. We didn't even know we were coming here during the middle of Easter. Is there anyone here with me? It was a dark and, and stormy it flicked, night. It flicked, it flicked flicked on the thunder. And then it I said, is anyone here with me? It, it flickered and, and then, then literally lightning. Is there any chance that lightning, lightning could affect that? I don't know. Maybe. Are you malicious? Are you delicious? We're in time on the green. We are hoping to taste a ghost today. It's true. Are you or were you accused of being a witch? Is anyone here with us? Have we established that? More light flickering. That flicker in the hallway downstairs was really intense and it happened when Mark walked by those lights again. Like you and I were already on the stairs and yeah. Mark walked past all of those nautical looking sconces or whatever. Scones. Oh, scones. <laughs> scones. I call them scones. Yeah, that was intense. And that's where we talked to something. Y'all in the same area. Maybe. I honestly wonder if we brought that over to roughly that area, directly mm -hmm. above. Because mm -hmm. that pole is the one that has a mirror yep. covering it at that bar. Yep. Is where we talk to something. It is thundering now. Well, it's thundering now and we haven't seen it flicker. That's true. Is anything here with us? That thing might be living downstairs in the basement. Mm hmm. Let's just double check that we're not seeing things. Bring it downstairs one more time. Let's see if we can uh, talk to the thing. See if there's consistency. Yeah. <laughs> Are you crazy? Right the away? second, oh, the second we put it down. Dude. Dude. There's something here. That's crazy. Uh, well, well, okay. We're completely in the middle of the room. There's show nothing under the on table. The I'm not kidding. Someone's show? gonna say yeah. that we've got like a mic pack under the table. See? There's nothing. Under There's the nothing. Table. Except maybe a ghost. Do you live under the table? Freaking weird. That's so weird. Now every sound we hear, we know is not Adam, because we know Adam's upstairs. Whereas, <clears throat> look at this. Look at this. This. Look at this. We've never seen it do this. You get closer with your phone, and it and it stops. What are you doing? You're getting in its way. Can you show us something else in this room? Please? Can you give us a sign? It's like, bitch, is this not enough of a sign for yeah, you? exactly. <laughs> oh my god. This is so much more of a current. Are you angry? It doesn't seem like it's answering questions necessarily, mm. but it seems like it's just here. Um, something's here. Uh, Do you maybe want it's not to tell ghost. us something? Can you make a sound, even if we can't hear it in the room, that we would be able to hear on the microphone? Do something. <laughs> Don't antagonize him. He's like... It was like, fine, if you yeah, want something, I'll leave. Yeah, he's like, you're kidding, bro. Oh. 
We're sure it's not a microphone? Are we sure it's not that? We already tried that. I don't know what to I don't know what to do with you. Yeah. It does not react being close to this camera. I thought maybe that's what it was, because that's that's the only thing we haven't moved. We've moved our phones away, we've moved the, the mic away. Look at that's the reading it actually gets from the microphone. Always. It's yeah, just that. Every time that's that I've it. Seen that's it. all it gets. It's that, it's that amount. And it's only right on top of it, right there. Mm -hmm. Not here. Right there. Yeah. Put that here. And it does that. Come on. What the heck? That's like an intense reading, yeah. regardless. Even if that was legitimately on top of an electrical thing, that's an intense reading. Okay, I mean, I'd say that's proof enough for me that <laughs> there's something. Yeah. I'm sufficiently freaked out. All right, well, we're not gonna, what? Yeah, you're freaking me out. Listen, L listen to me. Shh, don't come find us. We'll find you. You sleep Come down on. here tonight. We're gonna go sleep somewhere else. Nice to have met you. We're gonna say goodbye now. Thank you for showing off. Please don't attach. Please don't attach. Plus, stay here. The flight back to LA is not fun anyway. Coach. Coach. Not mint. And we'll, we're gonna check the recording that you left us on Peter's phone. Goodbye. Goodbye. A few moments later. Just, just a side note, since we said goodbye, that has not flipped. Mm. Just a weird side note. Just food for thought. <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing. But it's still not doing anything. Dude, there's no way that's real. There's no way that's real. <laughs> right? What do you think? I don't know, man. We've seen enough shit at this point. Say so we're staying in room 622, not, not 30. We're in room 622. <laughs> I know that you've already left, clearly. It hasn't caught up once. It's freaking weird, man. All right, I'm out of here. Goodbye. You guys have already seen it, but we just finally got back to our room and watched the footage of the moment Peter's phone started recording and he's not touching it at all you can see in the 360 degree camera plain as day he does not touch it and it starts recording so you had it sitting face down like that wasn't recording what's this do it takes a picture that's just a picture did it do that and then the numbers show up that's the only thing that starts the numbers. And it takes about a second from the time the button is hit to the time the numbers pop up, right? These disappear. Those disappear and then the numbers pop up? Yeah, press record. So that doesn't disappear, that disappears. Yeah, which you could see in the video. Weird. Touching near it doesn't set it off. So the only thing that will set it off is to hit exactly right there. That is the most compelling thing I think I've seen so far. Because even though the Chateau Marmont is super weird and hard to explain, I keep thinking like there's there's gotta be an explanation for it. Like it's just one thing. It's only the EMF reader at a time. It's only the smoke on the camera at one time. It's only the audio, they're all isolated. But this thing is a combined thing where the EMF reader is going crazier than we've ever seen it. It's not around anything either. And your phone starts recording on its own? Look at him. There's a light at the exact, at the exact same frame. Yeah. At the exact same time that your phone starts recording on its own, the yeah. meter goes off. Hey guys, sorry. A plus videographer. It's hitting like the second or third peak at the exact moment that my phone starts recording. Wow. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> We're familiar with our phones. Has your phone ever done that before? Ever? Has it ever glitched in a way that it records on its own? Uh, I just want to understand how a phone can record on its own at the same time that an EMF meter is going crazy. A ghost? It can't be. I'm saying things now. Okay, that's it. That's it. Yet again, it's one of those situations where if we didn't have proof of it on camera, I would never believe it. I, As soon as you said it, I was like, yeah, right. But you're right. You didn't touch it. I'm so glad we had that 360 camera running. I think that it just proves that Mikey doesn't trust us. No, I just, I'm just so skeptical. Nobody. Mikey. I'm skeptical. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just have to keep reminding because I'm obviously reacting strongly because I, I'm in disbelief of <laughs> the, the mounting evidence in front of me. Did you do that? Test mics about the same distance away, maybe a little bit closer. Currently, the EMF is pulsing an orange. Off. On. This is with the power strip on the EMF. Good morning. I'm pretty hyped this morning. You know what? I don't think it's like a, I'm not a morning person and Spencer is. I think it's just that I don't like being around Spencer in the morning. Without him, I can live my best life. I can be a happy girl and I can wake up in this glorious haunted hotel that likes to record videos on other people's phones. I feel great. I slept off almost all of this eyebrow. So that's fun. Wanted to give the ghost something to be afraid of when I woke up and I didn't hear anything in the middle of the night. Did you, Peter? I did not. That's fine. We're gonna walk around Salem today and just explore a little more. We were going to do it last night to try to find more paranormal things because we didn't feel like we had a whole lot until all that extra stuff happened once we dropped all of our legitimate filming gear. Go figure. So sorry that the most intense part is on an iPhone, but I guess that's how it happens. When the ghosts wanna come out and talk to you, that's when they're gonna come out and talk to you. I want some final thoughts on how you feel about your phone. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about it. I mean, it's just, it's weird. I've, that's never happened to my phone before, so strange. It takes like a like a warm touch to start laughing. You can't even like do it with a glove on. Have you ever had <laughs> gloves on in the winter and you have to like use your nose to do something? Especially considering it was like in the exact same spot that we were having like reactions. A ghost with coffee. We're gonna go walk around Salem now and just explore and have fun. We have one more video that we're filming for the series. It's the spookiest by location alone. So I'm very curious to see what happens there. Spencer will be there. It's gonna be a jolly old time. Like this video if you are sufficiently weirded out by Peter's phone recording on its own, because that's the spookiest thing to me. Like this video if Adam is precious. So you should all be liking this damn video. He is the most precious Bostonian man I think we could have run into twice and had the pleasure of scaring and being scared by. Subscribe if you are new or lurking. And if you don't subscribe, then we're just gonna send that ghost to your house and make them hit the button for you. Cause we know now I can do that.
and I will see you on the next and last ghost hunting video before Halloween. Stay tuned for the teaser. Bye. Say bye. 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 Hey, that was Peter. <laughs> no funny games here. That was Peter. Broke his face in two. No, stop it, David. I'm done. Dark energy is real. We're following us at this point. <laughs>